Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing something very interesting. I asked you guys a couple of weeks ago on my Instagram if you want to see like a derma planning video, how to do derma planning at home and a lot of you said yes. Okay, just some background on derma planning. It's basically whereby you, I think you've seen this all over Instagram. It's basically people going in for uh, facials and they would use like a scalpel and they would sort of shave away all the peach fuzz and dead skin cells and all that stuff. So apparently that reduces fine lines, it reduces wrinkles, it reduces uh, acne scars, facial growth and all that stuff. So I've been trying this technique for the past three, four months and I really like the results like especially when you get it done and then within two or three days when you put on makeup, when you put on your moisturizer, ah, the skin feels amazing. It's it's so um, smooth, I would say, and I've noticed a ton of difference on my scars, which which have been fading and still needs to fade a bit more. I will put a bunch of information on dermaplaning down in the the box down there. And you can do this at home, but you gotta be really, really, really careful because you're going to be working with a blade, something like this. Um, so I got mine from like the pharmacy, like Guardian and all this stuff. It's something like this, the blade should look something like that. So I would not suggest going and getting like a shaver. A shaver wouldn't work because you're going to go like this down and a shaver would just shave. Oops, sorry. Okay, so first step, you're going to cleanse your face. I'm using the Neutrogena Deep Clean Facial Cleanser. I'm going to just make sure like you're free from like dirt and oil and all this good stuff. Always when you have wiped your face, don't drag the towel. Dab. Dragging doesn't help the skin. Now that your skin is cleansed, you usually go in with like a toner to sort of dry the skin and remove any extra dirt that might be there. I'm going to use the Clean and Clear Oil Control Toner. This is really strong and I like it when I need some really deep cleaning. So we have washed our face but this is the amount of dirt that is still on so that is why toning is very important even in, in your normal skincare routine. The rule of the thumb, like how this actually works, give me a second, let me just tie my hair. You gotta pull back like this and, and slow motions here, yeah, slow motions. When you get around your eye area, just be careful, please. Just be careful. it helps with like blackheads and stuff all right and we are all done 
done. I want to show you. It's a bit disgusting. If you don't like things that are disgusting, close your eyes. Can you see? Oh my god. Uh, yeah. See? If you can see, it's not all hairs. It's also like gunk. And gunk would naturally mean it would mean that it's your dead skin cells. So. And since now that we've already, I mean, we have definitely irritated the skin with the blade and the movement. So we need to cool it down slightly. Usually I would go in with a cold sheet mask. So I'll buy the sheet mask, leave it in the fridge. And then once I'm done, I'll just pop it on and just rest. But I don't have a sheet mask. Now. It does help the skin when I use this sometimes. So this is the Mario Badescu, um Rose Water. Just spray it on drench your face in it so and just sit there till it dries okay so what I usually do after this is I just wipe down the blade and I keep it and I use it for the second time I don't go more than two times because I've noticed on the third time it sort of doesn't do as well as the first one so uh, I mean these are quite it's relatively cheap so I would suggest use it twice and then just toss it and yeah so that's how I do dermablading at home and it has worked for me I hope it works for you but if you have sensitive skin if you have pimply skin please don't do it because it would aggravate your skin please just wait until everything sort of heals and recuperates and okay so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please um, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!